Blackwater Abyss is the follow-up to Blackwater, the thriller from 2007, and it's directed by Australian filmmaker Andrew Truckee. Meanwhile, I'm being baked alive. It's like a thousand degrees in here. In this story, a group of friends venture out into the Australian wilderness to do some spelunking and explore a newly discovered cave system, supposedly to make money from it, question mark? Any luck she'll lead to a bigger system and uh, we can start making some money. Everything goes well until they find themselves trapped when a tropical storm floods the cave, which happens to be the home of a giant crocodile. I like these types of movies because it deals with some of my greatest fears, like water or things with teeth. And for the most part, this film has some intense moments. One of the things I really liked about this film is the fact that it doesn't go overboard with the effects. What's scary is not so much what you see, but the fear of the things that you're not seeing. The movie is fairly low budget, but this director knows how to keep an audience in suspense. It gets to a point where even such a simple thing as water bubbling gives you the creeps. And most of the effects are practical, which makes the croc feel a lot more real than if it was done with CG. It does have some CG moments though, and honestly, they're not great. I think most of the budget went to the set, which is basically a swimming pool, but luckily these CG moments aren't prolonged shots. They're quick and mixed in with the practical stuff. So when your brain sees something real followed by some fake shit, it keeps you more in that moment of reality. The story and the characters are pretty flimsy though, but that's to be expected with a low budget film like this. The actors do a pretty decent job, but let's be honest, this isn't about the acting. We just want to see these people get eaten alive. However, the croc attacks are pretty tame. I was expecting a lot more gore and blood, and that takes away some of the tension leading up to the attacks. You want to see that this thing can really do some damage, if only just once. You know, something like the Kitner boy in Jaws. But I will say I didn't find any of the characters annoying. In fact, they mostly make smart and calculated decisions because things keep going wrong for them. There's a certain rhythm to it. Every few beats the movie throws these challenges at them, like rising water or needing an inhaler to survive. When you let us throw it over, it's yes. <laughs> Sure, there were a couple of moments where I thought, okay, that's pretty stupid. But compared to other movies of the genre, yeah, they act a lot more sensible. I also like that even though they're stuck in this giant cavern, the movie does not confine the characters to that one swimming pool set. There are a few meanwhile back at the ranch moments that are quite good. I, I, I should explain that. Uh, meanwhile back at the ranch is a movie term which basically means cutting up um, storylines, usually with a group that splits up into two. For example, in The Empire Strikes Back, Han and Leia are on the run. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Yoda is teaching Luke how to stack rocks. And I like how the movie gave the characters these problems to overcome that kept things interesting. But there is this whole awful romance drama that frankly I could have done without. I'm a fan of this filmmaker's previous movie, The Reef, which is about a group of people stuck in the middle of the ocean with a great white shark. It involves a lot of scenes with characters looking at the water while breathing heavily. It's actually really well done, but the director repeated many of the same tricks from the reef in Blackwater Abyss. If you've never seen these tricks before, it works. But I have, and for me, it took away some of the originality. But despite all its flaws, I thought this movie was pretty fun. It's not amazing or anything, and I do feel it's about 15 minutes too long, and the ending made me flat out laugh. But overall, I would recommend watching this movie, especially if you like creature features. Black Water Abyss gets 3 out of 6. Ha! Receiver was my son's sister, who I'm singing for your one or the other.